Hello everyone, it is Janelle here from Parents Making an Investment. And I hope that you are doing well today. And I just wanted to bring a reminder to us all as parents. Um, I don't know if you only have one child or if you have more than one child, but I just wanted to remind you today that um, to continue to do what you're doing. And the reason why I'm saying this is um, sometimes we have kids, multiple children, that sometimes one child requires more of our attention, right? And so then therefore you don't wanna stop doing that. But I want to, just like I was reminded, to still get, we still need to give even the other kids that don't require so much or it doesn't seem like they require so much. They seem more independent. They seem more easygoing. But guess what? They still need our love and our attention. And guess what? They might express the need for love and attention in a different way. And so it might not be the physical touch. It might not be the undivided attention that they still need our love in, but we still have to remember to still give them that, even when they're independent and even when they're self-directed, self-initiated, and it feels like they're just, they're so helpful and we don't have to do much for them and they help us out, but we don't want to also forget about them. We don't want them to fall through the cracks, right? And so this is what I mean, to make more of a conscious effort for those kids, for those children that you have that are independent, that are easygoing, and that can self-regulate and can take initiative on their own. Just don't forget them. Because at the time that we're spending all of our time with a child that does require most of our most of our energy, most of our attention. And therefore, we don't want also at the end of it, and as these kids, our children grow older and to say, well, mommy and daddy and grandma spent so much time with so-and-so that even when I wanted to read a book, even when I wanted to show them my grades, even when I wanted to tell them what happened to me at school, they were too busy with so-and-so. And we don't want to come off that way. And you might have a special needs child that needs that. They need the undivided, they need our undivided attention. They need your undivided attention. They need the one-on-one -on -one constantly because they might have some level of special needs or disability. But at the same time, even though our other children are understanding and they're aware of their siblings' needs and special needs or disability, we still have to acknowledge those other kids that are independent and that are self-regulated and that are self-directed. We still need to give them that praise. We still need to give them that attention and that love because we don't want them to start making excuses for us as parents. And that's really what they do in their mind, really pretty much what they're doing in their mind by saying, oh, mommy is busy with sister. Mommy is busy with brother because he needs her help. He needs the care right now. And he needs, you know, her physical help. And he, she has to carry him. And so mommy's busy right now. So I'll just go read this book by myself. Or maybe I'll, you know, ask someone else to do it. Or, you know, maybe I'll see if someone else can come to my recital or come to my program at school because mommy has to work. Mommy has to do this. And yes, we do have to do that. We do, but we don't want to talk about it so much that now our other kids that are independent are making excuses for us. And what turns out in the end as they get older, let me share this. They will eventually say, well, you weren't there for me because, and I, I couldn't ask you. It's not that I did not want you to come to field trip. It's not that I didn't want you to read me a book. I didn't want you to tuck me in. I wanted all that stuff that I saw my brother and sister get, but it's because you were so busy with them that I had to do these things on my own. I had to tuck myself in. And so even though it seems like it's okay now, when they're older, 
they will still remember that. They will still remember those moments where we're not there for them. And we didn't tuck in that child or we didn't tuck them in the way we did with the other children or the other child that we have that requires so much of our attention and so much of our, our energy on a daily basis. And so what I'm saying by saying all of this today, moms, dads, supporting adults, if you have more than one child, remember them all, find ways to acknowledge them all, find ways to give them that undivided attention. They all speak a different language and it might not be through physical touch. It might not be sitting on the floor with them. It might not be even talking to them, but find ways to give them the undivided attention that they deserve. So they can know that, you know what, even though um, my sister, my brother had this going on, but mommy always found a way to let me feel so important, so valuable and so needed in my family that I wanted to be there. I wanted to be a part of my family because I felt needed. I felt like I was important and I played an important role. And so we still have to, even as parents, when we get through our day and we're going through the routine of life and the schedule of life, of taking care, meeting the needs of everybody else, cooking, cleaning, what have you, we still have to treat them as individuals and treat them where they are and also remember that they are each one of them are different and they have different qualities and different gifts and they each possess something that's of value that we want them to know that is there in them and that it matters and we recognize it as parents. And so that way we can help that to develop so they can become confident in it for tomorrow. That's, that's what the purpose is of investing today for them tomorrow. So let us do that today. Let us remember the other children that we have that don't require so much of our time, don't require so much of our energy, that yes, they are and they display more levels of independence and, and, and more levels of self-directedness than our other kids. Let's not forget them so they don't fall through the cracks today. Won't you do that with me? I'm challenging myself and I'm challenging you to remember them because they are just as important as those other kids that have special needs. May this video, video help you and may you share with other people that feel like they're going through this space and place in their family um, with blended families or even with families that have more than one kid, child. And don't forget to subscribe below and join me on making investments for our children's for our children today for tomorrow if you have any questions or just go ahead and comment below and share what you do to make sure that all your children feel valid and important and loved thank you so much and have a blessed day